What up, y'all? It's your boy DJ Foreign. I'm here with one of them guys, man. One of them guys. Cartier Chase, Sheesh. man. Huh? Cartier. Uh, what's up with you, man? How you been, man? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, man? You know, you know, man. Been living, man. Living. Trying to get this shit right, man. You know, you know. Always on the grind, man. For those that don't know who you is, man, let them know where you from. How long you been doing this? It's Cartier Chase. Some people know me as Chase and Million. Some people know me as Seattle the Dawn. If you know me from back then, you was trapping, and getting money. Nah, man. You been doing this a long time, man. You know, you straight and shit. We keep you motivated. We keep doing the movies, rapping, and just staying relevant, man. What keep me motivated is just the loving and like the hate, like both. You feel what I'm saying? Just, just both. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I love this shit. And it's me just actually just loving this shit for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Me and my niggas, like, we was on the hill, like, we was 15, 16, tone hitting the beatbox, Glenn rapping, you feel what I'm saying? Like, shout out Stacks. Know what I mean? Shout out to my boy G Stacks, you feel what I'm saying? Like, we really was, like, we really, like, came up, like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, rap was just, like, know what I mean? Like, this is what one niggas wanted me, like, to be. Like, they wanted it, they wanted it more than me. I was just wanted to be the plug, you feel what I'm saying? Most definitely. And just pay for the shit and just be like motherfucking like Dame Dash and Diddy and them niggas just talking shit in the videos, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And then I just ended up becoming like the rapper after a while because it was just, I just had so much money invested in this shit and niggas wasn't doing what they were supposed to do. Know what I mean? Chain, aka Fago Bass, he was doing a long sentence, so it was like, yeah, I had to do what I had to do. Artist. So then that's when Chase the Millions, back then, like first I was Chase the Millions. That's when Chase of Millions came about. We was riding saying. around in the, in the CL accurate. When I was man. riding around in CL, you feel what I'm saying? Making a bunch of money and shit, fucking a bunch of bitches and shit, you feel what I'm saying? 3,000 frames, 10,000 on the neck, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that was just regular shit back then, you feel what I'm saying? But it's like, that's what made me start rapping, because, like, my little verses that I was doing on Stacks and shit song, niggas was just like, like, they me just talking that money shit. Like, niggas, niggas coming to me, like, yo, when you gonna drop something? I'm like, I wasn't thinking about this shit. Like, this shit was all about, like, this shit was just never about me. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody just got to just work and just and just step it up right now. You feel what I'm saying? Like, we can't be crying about support. We can't be crying about the radio. We can't be crying about nothing. It's just about working. Is there any artist in CT you want to work with or you looking forward to work with? Or is it just... Hell yeah, man. It's Cartier my artist season, season, man. man. Right now. It's Cartier season always, but it's my artists that I want to fuck with. You feel what I'm saying? Definitely. Shout out to old New Haven, old... The kid Ty Henny, home on fire, you feel what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, old Mulo Guapo, home on fire, man. I need home on something, you feel what I'm saying? Definitely. Let me think who else, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that was Bridgeport, New Haven, you feel what I'm saying? What's your relationship the with the DJs, man? I fuck with man. all the DJs, you feel what I'm saying? That's, that's, that, that, like, I don't really fuck with too many rappers, but the DJs, I man, I love all the DJs, man. I fuck with all of them, because that's the channel you got to go through, you feel what I'm saying? So in the city right now, you don't got no smoke with no rappers. It was just a little bit of hatred, funny shit going on. It ain't no, I don't know what it is. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it ain't no, it ain't no, it ain't no, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm out here moving around doing what I got to do. Secure you feel what I'm saying? So it's just like, like, I, I, I'm not out here trying to have a fake rap beef with anybody. I don't care about this local fame. You feel what I'm saying? I, I don't care about being the best rapper in Hartford or the best rapper in Connecticut. I don't care about that. I'm all about the money. money. Man, I've been Killing that nigga. Bag. So Definitely. it's like, it ain't about, you feel what I'm saying? A lot of niggas is rapping, trying to get to, to be like that, that nigga to drive some nice cars and fuck some chicks and shit. I've been doing that shit, been motherfucking. That shit. I've been doing that shit. Selling the CDs out the truck of the act. Exactly. We were selling trunk, we were selling CDs out of the truck of Acuras, you know what I'm saying? Back then, everybody, like, if you was a game money nigga, you had an acro, you feel what I'm saying? Like, on some other shit. Even that shit, like, man, it was just so many rap beefs that niggas was coming at me last year crazy. just from the city. I was like, this shit crazy, you feel what I'm saying? Through the Cardis, what inspired you to do that, man? The through the Cardis, because it's like, man, I'm getting sick of Harford not getting his recognition for the Cardis. Yeah, they get Detroit niggas all the we recognition. We started, for that. you feel what I'm saying? I don't know when. Them niggas from the D started rocking Cardi like, like we need somebody, we need we need 
we need to find out when did they start rocking them and when you get what I'm saying, like or whatever. But as far as me being a young and running around the city and seeing older niggas back in like the '90s wearing them, you know what I'm saying? The '90s, the '80s. It's an old folk town uh, that it was a hard for nigga that went to Detroit with some Cotties on, and they peeped the swag. It jumped on it. That's a folk town. I don't know if it's true, but that's, that's what the, the streets are saying that we started. It's probably this shit. true, man. And, yo, I ain't gonna lie. A lot of style and swag and drip or whatever you wanna call it that came from Hartford. Yeah, man. We started Cotties. We started smoking papers and fire. We started everything, motherfucker. Go get that boy started. <laughs> everything. <laughs> How you feel about that top 20 list, man, that just came out? What top 20 list? That been floating around the internet, top 20 Connecticut list, the top 20 rappers. I don't pay attention to nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, to me, it's like, that's the other thing with CT we got to stop doing. It's like rappers making lists and putting their names on lists. Like, stop doing that. Let the people decide, you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how credible any, any list, like, who the... Who, who uh, did that list, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't do this shit for no list. You feel what I'm saying? I just said that in the bar. I said, you think I give a fuck about a top 20 list? Nigga put me on the who got money list. Oh, the big four You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, but it be the hatred. Yeah, competitive you know nature, man. It be the, the hatred with this sport. rap shit. This rap shit is even worse than the streets, man. Niggas are fucking, niggas that hate your guts want to kill you for this rap shit. I mean, yeah. the Hoffa, Connecticut, Y'all labels need to come out here, man, to get niggas deals and shit, man. For niggas, man, be out here killing each other for this shit. On some real shit, like that. Everybody that rise, everybody that had a name in Rose, niggas just hated them. You feel what I'm saying? What's your favorite strain, man? What you smoking on, man? What you like smoking on, man? You know, you know how often niggas just smoke sour all Sour. Day, you know what I'm saying? But Cardi been, is a sour. Cardi is a sour, you feel what I'm saying? But I've been, you feel what I'm saying? Whatever come, like, whatever, like, the plug guy, he be having a bunch of, you know what I mean? Shouts out to the plug, you feel what I'm saying? How you get um, involved with that motherfucking Homicide Harford? Like, how y'all put that together, man? That Shit, like, the Homicide Harford came about, it was it was something that me and uh, Sal Ben was talking about doing. You Shout out to saying? Sal, man. Shout One out to the guys, boss, man, Sal Pacini, you feel what I'm saying? We, Ben was talking about that. Shit, and then the kid, Ching, me and home was talking on the Facebook and shit because he had something going on. So it was like, like, and then he wanted to come out here and film. So I just connected the dots per se for everything. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. Like, and just now, man. It's your boy DJ Four. I'm here with Cartier Chase. Cartier Strap City season, the basement. Man. Well, we had Do It All Clothing on Main Street, man. And I heard that um, Big Baby and Ching ain't coming back for season two, man. Nah. Ain't What's up back. with that? Nigga just disloyal, you feel what I'm saying? Just like, it's just, it's just, even that, now, now like, this is another situation where it's like Sal bought Big Baby out the house. You feel what I'm saying? Sal was champion for him. Like, we had the show already going on. Me and Bucks, we was doing the show. Definitely. We met Chain, we had it. Sal, like, yeah, we're going to get him like Big Baby. And it's like, he the big bro. Like, I always love Big Baby. So I was like, fuck it. Yeah, veteran in this. Yeah, like, he's a veteran. So, you get what I'm saying? But, then now, him and Chain, they start hanging more in the stuff, you know what I'm saying? Then he ended up cuffing Chain. It just a lot of, like, confusion. Then it was like he was mad about Bucks for, for, for something. Like, it was just all type of just little shit Crazy, that shouldn't even shit, been going yeah. on. You get what I'm saying? Like, 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 fucked like. Fucked up his wave, the drip, the, man. Like, that fucked up. You feel what I'm saying? Like, this is, this is shit that the fans didn't know what was going First on. First episode did 250. You know Easy. Hell yeah. Easy. Like, and then it's like. Them niggas even took down the show. You feel what I'm saying? Like, what's some old hell? Yeah. And, like, the first show got flagged. So that's how they try to make it seem like everything got flagged. But come to find out, niggas took the show down, mad about certain shit. You feel what I'm saying? It, it, it just, it just, it just crazy. Like, it just, yo, last year taught me a lot of shit for him on some real shit. Who gonna, be, who gonna, who be? gonna be shooting? Who gonna be the director on this one? Oh, we got, um... Uh, the Larry Bird, Scotty Swerve, and we got uh, Lil Man. We got two cameramans on this shit. You know what I'm saying? With drones, we got everything. Like this shit gonna be, this shit gonna be way better than before. Like, like trust me, this shit gonna be way better than before, man. How your relationship is with Banger, man? Cause he's another high profile artist out here, and I seen. Oh, 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 man, I get you for him, man. You gonna bring a Banger on me? 
Yeah, right. I'm gonna jump straight into it, man, because the people there, the people want to know. Man. Nah, I mean, like, man, like the thing you with home is just like you crash the internet for one day. You know, some real shit is just like it's just like, and it's crazy because home had all the people like it's like he had the people fool and he really did some snake shit. Everybody talk about being honorable and shit. It's like what he did with some snake shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nah, man, like home was out last year. Home went to the South by Southwest. This is how big the Homicide Harford show was. They out there talking about it. Yeah, I seen it. You know, so now yeah. you know anybody screaming they from Homicide Harford, what they gonna bring up? Yeah, facts. The show. Yeah, facts. Cardio that's the only Chase. Movie, yeah. Starbucks. You know what I'm saying? So now he came home, he hit me, he hit Sal, he hit everybody. Like, yo, I wanna do the show, it's crazy. Niggas out here telling me this and that. So I'm like, alright, put him in the show, this and that. You feel what I'm saying? Some real nigga shit. So something that Bucks was already talking to King of Hartford shit. He already been said that. And it's like what I've been was telling niggas, Bucks in his early twenties. Niggas is older. Let him have that. He say he the king, so what? Definitely. And at that time he was proving it. You feel what I'm saying? Home was Bucks, he worked outworking it. everybody. So it's like at that Wanna got him a bag. Yeah, got a bag, everything. Still got, got a bag. So it's like, yeah. you feel what I'm saying? Niggas running around broke. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, it just, he came home, hit it. I threw him in the shit. I threw him in the shit without even asking niggas about it. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Because it's like, this tracks came out, you that feel shit me? did numbers. And it was I didn't even home. ask the team. I was just like, fuck it. He came because he showed up one day. One day we just filmed me. He hit me like, yo, I just want to show up. This is, this is what I'm talking about. The same, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But this is how niggas be. Clout. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is this is, this is is how niggas be operating. Like, and, like, this would be wrong with, with, with what's going on in this city, state, whatever you want to call hood, everything. It's niggas like that that would be, like, on some snake shit like that. Yeah. So, so, so now, now, mind you, put him in this show. That show did numbers. He was happy, this and that. Next thing you know, he dissing bucks. Cause that, Out of nowhere, so I'm like, the numbers, so now it's like, bucks. this is, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> what's going on? Now niggas looking at me because I put them in the show. Yeah. You get it? So now it's like, dude, what you trying to sabotage what I got going on, dog? You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's just that. Then it's, then it's like, Bucks ain't had no problem with you. Bucks wanted to get on the song button, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't even no problem. Bring that big baby, that motherfucking Ching might not be returning for season two. Oh man, you trying to get that story too, man? You trying to yeah, get I gotta get everything, good. man. You know it's hard to catch up with you, man. So when I get you for five minutes, ten minutes, yeah. I gotta get what I gotta get out of you because I might not see. Yeah, like it's just, it's just like TV. big baby and Ching, like they doing they um juice crew shit. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know what I mean, as far as that. It's a ball shit. You know I mean, but you know the real story. It's just, it's, you know what I'm saying? I gotta stop. Hating on people that's working. If you exactly. working, you don't got no time to even see with another. Yeah, I told niggas, I'm like, yo, we both from the hill, so why the fuck you niggas should just let us be together and motherfucking rap? But niggas, but it just be certain shit from it, it just be certain shit that when it's like when it ain't when it ain't just rap, sometimes it get tricky. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, nah, I mean, we shout out to home. You know what I'm saying? Like, then niggas trying to make it seem like I had this. BG is uh, it just got crazy where it's like I just had to leave it alone because it's like it was pouring into the street. Yeah, like it's pouring into the shit streets, and it's like yeah. BG was like a little brother to me. He looked like me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, know what I mean? Like, yeah. rest in peace. Bless his soul. You feel what I'm saying? Like that shit hurt me still that he lost his life. So it's like when it get too much and it's like people trying to now know what I mean change what I said and all this shit. Now it's like, all right, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't got time for this shit, you feel what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, that's my hood. I love my hood, you feel what I'm saying? I don't care about what all the rest of you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know the streets want to know, man. What's up with you, Pyrex, Camp, that little situation, man? Streets want to know, man. That shit wasn't really about nothing. It was just about the old situation that had happened. And then it's like, when all the the beef started coming up, everybody bringing it up, and it's just like I just talked about it. But at the same time, it's like, I mean, I mean, ain't nothing but love, cause niggas all tied in together yeah. some type of way. We so it's family. like, I mean, I don't wish no ill harm towards none of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
really, you know what I mean? Like, long as, like, niggas want to let it go, let it go. So what's next for you, man? What's what's up with you? What you doing with, besides the acting? I'm about to drop a tape, nigga. You know, it's still back to the music. I mean, it's always, because that's the first outlet. So, like, the music, you feel what I'm saying, made me who I am. You feel what I'm saying? Me on Facebook, Cartier Chase. You feel what I'm saying? Cartier season on Facebook, matter of fact. Cartier season on Instagram. You feel what I'm saying?